Powers of the world, we are anonymous. For months Julian Assange has been seeking refuge in the Ecuadorian embassy, from the British government. The British authorities are trying to extradite Assange to Sweden for questioning regarding sex crime allegations which have already been disproven. Assange is worried that if he is extradited to Sweden, Sweden will hand him over and further extradite him to the United States of America where he will be charged for espionage. It is likely he will then be subject to a secret or military trial. And with the National Defense Authorization Act being passed, which allows the indefinite military detention of anyone, even American citizens, on American soil, it is not hard to see why Assange is seeking asylum. Recently, the Ecuadorian embassy said that it has received threats of armed raids on their embassy by the British government. The British government has also said that they will revoke the embassy's diplomatic immunity, which is a violation of the International Vienna Convention. Since Ecuador has agreed to give Assange political asylum, the United Kingdom has stated that besides invading foreign soil, they will prevent Julian Assange's travel out of the country. Not only is the British government violating international laws and human rights, they are also declaring war on freedom. Could you imagine if this happened in America? A foreign citizen targeted by the government for speaking up and, as a result, said individual taking refuge in a foreign embassy. The American government quickly declares that it will raid the embassy with body armor and assault rifles to get the whistleblower. The governments of the world and the world media would have called it a violation of international law and of human rights. The retaliation against America for such an action would be quick and loud. The same scenario is happening now to Julian Assange in Brighton. He is being labeled a traitor for revealing the truth. He is being labeled a cyber terrorist because he exposes government and military corruption. The countries which so boldly declare their freedom to the world and promote free speech are the same ones that are trying so hard to silence word of their unjust actions. Julian Assange is now in serious danger and we must stand with him. We must now protect and defend us and in every way we can. By protecting Julian Assange, we are protecting our freedom of speech. Would you not fight tooth and nail to protect your freedom of speech? We do not tolerate censorship, injustice, and belligerent law breaking. We must stand up and fight for freedom of speech, free flow of information, WikiLeaks, and Julian Assange. Operation Leak Guard, engaged. We are anonymous. We are legion. We do not forgive. We do not forget. Britain, expect us.